Hello everybody and welcome back to Arcade Spirits. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded this, I've had other things going on, but right now there's a gap in my upload schedule because I left my hard drive with the coder on it in at my house and I'm at a hotel right now very far away. But I've been wanting to finish up, at least uh, make more better progress on this playlist as well. I know not many people watch it, um, but those of you that do, I really do appreciate it. It's actually one of my favorite indie games to come out this year and maybe of all time. So I've been really enjoying it and it was nice to get back to editing it again and hopefully we can make a little bit more progress. But if you are watching this on the off chance and expecting to see Coder or Odyssey, those will be returning soon, as soon as I return back to my house. It's been kind of a crazy month. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in a moment. All right, let's actually play this game. You realized you late, you put your own name on it? Yeah, yeah, that was, I mean, at some point you could probably do it again. Maybe when that guy, <gasps> keep an eye on when that guy leaves the military, maybe. You are painfully plain spoken. All right, speaking of accents, let me try to remember all the accents I did for these characters. It's the year 20 whatever, and today is the day. Well, not the actual big day when we reveal Wyvern Keep, but a big day in relation to that big day. And I am completely stressed out. That's right, because at the end of the last part, we went to that arcade, um, what was it, like, uh, auction, almost said audition. Went to the arcade auction, and I ended up getting Wyvern Keep of the three, like, super old games that may or may not actually go well. Hey, I just realized this is Deco's Palace. Uh, you can think and write English easily, but when you try to talk in English, you stumble over words. Supposed to be the strong accent. Strong accents are attractive. Dun da da da! Hamza! Uh, yeah, and I am completely sorry that. Yep. My mission, which I choose to accept, and I kind of already chose to accept, is to spread the word about the upcoming Funplex event. That's right. And we've decided to be super, di like, we're going to, we, we, we went through that thing where it was like, it was like, um, it was like, don't compromise. The first chapter was about not compromising and standing up for yourself and for your dreams. The second chapter was about learning to, like, because life is about compromise in many ways, but you can't over -comp compromise and like, you know, lose yourself in the process and, and not stand up for yourself, but you do have to be able to like give and take, you know, because people, you know, like it, it kind of ties into the thing where it's like everybody's dream is trying to go after their dream. And like, you know, sometimes you don't have to necessarily go head to head, but like there are things that need to be accounted for, like actual practical things like money and like availability and space and all this stuff. So you do have to make some compromises. It's learning to make compromises wisely that helps you further your own goals. Da -da. Okay, upcoming bubble. Yeah, okay. The one that I'm in charge of. The one that I put a ton of effort and hope into already. The one where if nobody shows up, it spells doom for all. No pressure, right? Nope, none at all. No big deal. I mean, if they fail, I'll only be I'll only be the laughing stock of the entire funplex. They'll call me the funplex failure for the rest of my days. I'll be shamed, forced to wear a giant red F on my chest. That may be a little bit going far. Snap out of it, Eric. Did I ever tell you guys that I read the Scarlet Letter when I was like in seventh grade? And I read that whole book without knowing what the Scarlet Letter meant, like the, the A branded on her chest. I had no idea. No. Absolutely no clue. I read the book and I was like, eh, it's okay. And I like, I liked, I actually didn't like it at all when I first read it. And then I read it two times later, one time in college, like one time in high school and one time in college. And it was at the college reading that I finally liked it. Um, but yeah, it, it took me until like, I think the third reading, to be honest, to figure out what the A meant. Or yeah, it was, it was great. It was great. I know exact. I'm an English major, it's fine. All right, now, okay, back to the game. Snap out of it, Aerie. Let's focus on what's right here, right now. Specifically, a giant conglomerate horde of people. Also, look, there's like the Deco Palace is being advertised. That keep bumping into me and smell like corn chips. And there's nowhere to run. Ha ha! I might be in a little over my head here. Working in the arcade, I've gotten used to smaller crowds. My skin has gotten a little thicker and resistant to sticky soda hands touching me accidentally. But nothing could have prepared me for the sheer scope and scale of this. Just me and, oh, I don't know, maybe 50,000 other people? I know Naomi's the one who doesn't like crowds, not me. But come on now, this isn't a crowd. It's a Gorgira-sized eva ev evacuation mosh pit. 
complete with Gojira TM side screens hanging overhead, constantly showing advertisements for arcade games and industry happenings. <laughs> hey! Wow, it's so exciting! Isn't it exciting, Ari? That is a word, yes. I've never really been to one of these things. What a spectacle! Thank you for giving me a ticket. I really need to get away for a weekend. Hey, Ooh. Ari, how are you holding up? Looking a little green around the gills there. <laughs> I can smile this. I can't smile this. Everything is fine! It's not my favorite thing ever, but I can handle this. I'll just repeat my mantra. This is fine. Everything is fine. Everything will be okay. Not an ideal situation, but I got this, Juniper. Sure, there'll be a struggle, but what doesn't traumatize me today can always traumatize me later. <laughs> this is exactly why I came here with you, to help you in your hour of need and to get away for the weekend, but still, hour of need. It's true, Juniper has helped me get through a lot, but beyond generalities, I think she specifically wanted to make it up for me, to me, for for the whole job offer situation. Uh, yeah, 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 okay, so him. It's nice to have her here. We're not going to let a little thing like that stay as a sticking point between us. So, what's the plan? Huh? We can't just stand around all day, Ari. There's a lot of ground we need to cover to make your funplex a, a success. Also, I need to just slow down in general because I'm tripping over myself. All right, this is my just my this is my voice actor training. You guys ready? Get pumped. Okay. How are we going to attack this? What's the first move? I was just going to sort of play it by ear. You didn't plan for this? Like at all? I was too busy lying awake all night, stressing out to worry about planning things. Look, I'm new at event management, much less event promotion. Okay, so I already said this line. Squirrel senpai, why? Why? Ari, well, let's start with this. Juniper swings her book bag off her shoulders and crouches on the ground. She opens it up and pulls out a stack of papers. Hold these. I cradle them in my arms. Okay, I'm holding these. What are these exactly? Flyers, silly, the ones you wanted for promoting your big event. I managed to print off quite a few before the boss started giving me weird looks. Why are copier rules always so strict in office jobs? It's just paper, and I needed it. I flip a sheet over, and I start to remember. Dun, dun. It was about two weeks ago. Ashley and I were holding down the fort that day. Gavin locked himself in the office and told me that if I bothered him for anything other than an emergency that I would not live to regret it. Upon pain of job loss, I told myself that I wasn't going three feet within the office doors. <laughs> Francine stayed home that day. She was marathoning a competitive knitting show or something like that. You're into Ashley? Ashley's super cute. She's a cosplayer. You really miss arcade cabinets? I know. I really like those. I Sometimes, like, I know really wealthy people will get, like, arcades in their house. Sometimes I had a couple friends like that who had, like arcade machines that like had like 24 old games on them it was so crazy mammy was out shopping for some extra parts the dig dug machine tm was acting up again the buttons were sticking from some kid spilling a slushy on it so what started as a pretty boring day in an empty funplex changed rapidly first fave is the nerdy girl who fixes the machines i really like her i like percy too a lot i gotta be honest like i really like percy and I like Ashley. And I really like Tao. Like, I mean, I like him, but like, if I had to like, like, rate, I like Percy, Ashley, and Naomi so far. And Queen Bee and Tao and Gavin are towards the bottom. Slushy. Yum, yum, yum. You have one arcade machine? Yes! That is because you're like, you're just like, it's a, it's a symbol of how wealthy you are to have an arcade machine. A uh, Pac-Man, see that's what I, yeah, I love, I love the Pac-Man arcade and the Space Invader, those are my favorite. You remember you like all the girls way more than the dudes? Yes. I, I like Naomi and Ashley a lot. Percy's really cool though, I like him. You ended up becoming besties with Queen Bee, that tells me a lot about your personality, Subby. You like to be stepped on, ah, that's what they made me say, that's what they made me say last time. So, yeah, what started as a pretty boring day and an empty funplex changed rapidly when Teo came into the funplex, carrying an armload of giant rolled-up posters. Hey, oh, Harry. Hey, oh, Ashley. Welcome home, Teo. <laughs> Good morning, my fair Teo. How art thou? Only so. Freaking 
excited. I might explode into a thousand bits. Please don't. That'd be an awful mess to clean up. We don't have we don't nearly have enough hydrogen peroxide to get out the blood stains, and I don't have a plastic tub full of lye to dissolve your body parts in. I am just I am the life of the party. I am the life of the party. They make little half side arcade machines for you. Oh, that's so cute though. Not to mention the years of therapy Ari and I will have to go through to get over how horrible it would be to watch your friend die violently in front of you. I just can't afford it. It's just Jeez. a turn of phrase, chill. I'm not going to literally explode. But, 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 guess what's happening in two weeks? It's something huge for us. Are they showing a compilation of internet cat videos at the movie quad? Nope. Yes again. Please, please tell me we are finally going to replace the blindingly horrid casino-like carpet beneath our feet! It is! It's traditional casino carpet! Hey, I like the carpet! It's fun! Wrong again. I can't believe you both don't pay attention to the local news. Tabs with the poster he was clutching and un unravels them before us. Bring your quarters. It it's Max time! Oh, it's it's. It's not an L. It's Max time! Max! Max is already here? Uh, Oops. I thought that was it for another month. This means I really gotta double down on my cosplay production. Say goodbye to sleeping for the next two weeks. I've got so much to do now. I know, right? Still, I, I still have to meet with all the dancers and work on our synchronized dance routine. Not nearly enough time to perfect it. And I have to find a good time and place for an international showtime stage community gathering. I still have to finish hand sewing all the embellishments in my tailcoat. Find or make a decent pocket watch. And start and finish my third cosplay. Ugh, death take me now. W wait, can we go back a minute? What exactly is Max? I know, lit. And I'm like, lit, lit. I don't know, it's Teo. For all I know, he says lit unironically. What exactly is Max? The best. It's like the both at the same time. The best gaming convention ever. Did you both plan to say that in unison? Regardless, I'm still mostly confused and require further exposition. Exposition. Well, have you eaten Kayuk? Dark Souls by the quarter actually rain. That would be, that would be really interesting. Like, I know it would be really frustrating, but like, I don't know. Oh, man. That could be cool. You'd have to have like, I don't know, five lives per token or something. That could be cool. Max is, the, is a mega arcade expo, an annual arcade gaming convention. It happens every year around this time over on the West Coast. But this year, they're having a max right here in our city, and it's going to be the biggest one yet. I always go every year and show off my newest cosplay! Yeah. He's a great way to meet a whole bunch of other arcade people. I don't like him doing his voice right. And catch up with those you haven't seen since the last convention. It's so much fun! Okay, yes, okay, I see why you're both excited. Sounds cool. Yeah, and I was thinking we could put up some Max posters around the Funplex to, you know, get all the locals hyped about it. That's a splendid idea, Teo! Finally, an East Coast Max! We gotta make sure everyone knows about it! That we do! Teo, Ashley, and I spent the next half an hour putting up posters around the Funplex. We plastered as many surfaces as we, as we could without making it look too obscene. While we were pushing pins into the wall, Teo and Ashley kept telling me stories of past Maxes and all the fun they had. Their spirit was infectious at the very least. Hard for me to... Avoid ending up on the hype train. <laughs> choo choo! <laughs> but more importantly, the more I heard, the more I started thinking about how we could use this event to benefit the Funplex in some way. As the Funplex's newly minted event manager, I had to be on the lookout for opportunities like these. The very first max on the East Coast. It would be perfect. Hey, can we promote the Funplex's event at max? Good for local buzz, and maybe we can convince some out of towners to stick around for it. Ooh, that's the one you've been working on, right, Eri? Yeah, I've got ideas for tournaments, token discounts, much to Gavin's displeasure, and more. And we'll be revealing the new game we got from the raid. You still haven't told me what it is. And I'm not going to. It's a secret. 
A super secret. It's so hush-hush that the only people who know about it are Ari, Gavin, Francine, and Naomi. Ashley, you don't even know? Nope. They were actually going to tell me, but I'm not very good at keeping secrets, so I made them promise not to give me even a hint about it. <laughs> so, Ari, do you have a name for this grand event yet? Yeah, Ari, what's it called? I've been thinking long and hard on coming up with the perfect name. No, I haven't. I literally just thought about it this moment. But I think I figured it out. Are you ready? Am I? The suspense is killing us. The Funplex event will be called... What is it? Oh, what? I can make up the name? <gasps> what should we name it? What should we name it? Uh, Fun Flex Nut House Um, Fun Times Nope, that sounds that's so dumb Fun Flex Nut House Oh my gosh I can't come up with any, um Okay, I need like an alliteration Fun Flex Fun Times for friends. Fun place, fun times for friends. No, 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 no. Okay, I thought it would. I thought it would limit it. Fun flex. Oh crap. Okay, that worked. Fun plus funk time. Uh, I, yeah, I, I'm not counting each individual character. I'm just waiting for it to tell me no. <laughs> I was thinking of calling it Funplex Funk Time. Hmm, how's that sound, I wonder? That works, it works. We shall call it Funplex Funk Time. What do you think, eh, eh? Oh, I do so love it. it it's perfect. It's so hard to be as high pitched as she is. Really, you named it Funplex Funk Time. There are worse things you could have called it. It is kind of catchy though. Nice work, friend. Get down with the fun flex funk. Oh yeah. Ha, thanks you two. So how do I get tickets to Max? How can we advertise there? And uh, how much would all of that cost? I'm still living off pizza bagels, you know? You mean you don't already have your tickets? They sell out like on day one, my friend. Actually, they sell out in about 20 minutes on day one and all the hotel rooms are gone way sooner. What? No. My greatest plan spoiled. <gasps> oh my gosh, beep beep! Irie, while you were all talking, I located all the scalpers who were selling tickets online at exorbitant prices. Then I hacked into their IP addresses, found less than tasteful information on a couple of them, which would make their lives very difficult if we got out into the open. After contacting them, I promised I wouldn't leak such sensitive materials into the internet in exchange for selling us the tickets at their original prices. And they gladly obliged, just nice humans. Oh my gosh! I transferred the funds from your account to theirs and secured the tickets. You should be getting an email for two max tickets in approximately three, two, one, done. Oh, and I suggest you invite Juniper to come along as your second. According to Juniper's Iris, she's very stressed from her job and could use a mini vacation. Uh, okay, but, uh, Iris, that's kind of known as blackmail. What you just did is technically very, very illegal. Don't worry, Ari. I erased all possible leads back to you. You'll be fine. And it's all in the name of helping the fun plugs, isn't it? Just like you wanted me to do? Well, Iris has been dedicating herself to this event. I couldn't be doing it without her, even if we need to have another talk about human ethics. Fine, fine. But next time, let's do it without any federal crimes, okay? Okay, it's a promise. She's a liar. Romance one of the arcade machines? Yes! A sentient arcade machine? Yes, please. Regardless, hey, tickets, now you can go, sweet! And I'm not gonna pity a few cold-hearted, bloodthirsty ticket scalpers myself. Those guys ruin events like Max. You know, your iris is really cool. It's making me think maybe I should get one too. Also, while I was procuring your tickets, I stumbled across the Funplex's face wall, face wall account. It hasn't been updated in exactly 13 weeks, 2 days, 14 hours, and 54 seconds. The Funplex's social media presence is completely non-existent. That's unacceptable! Why hasn't I at least Ashley been doing that? Our one true love video games? Exactly. We just we just need a romance and arcade game. I know, right? An AI in an arcade? Have they never seen Tron? I, I, I definitely get a little bit of Tron vibes from all this. Wait, we have a face wall account? I mean, that doesn't make sense. But still, I had no clue of its existence. Uh, I knew Ashley! I knew it! I sorta run it. 
I'm really bad. Look at that. I love that. I'm really bad at keeping up on it, though. That sounds like it would be Gavin's thing. Why isn't he in charge of it? Ha <laughs> ha! Look at her face! She's so cute! Gavin couldn't care less about social media. He says that, and I quote, Social media is where idiots go to yell at each other about nothing of any importance, and I'm not going to waste my time with it. That also sounds like Gavin. Oh, Tails cute! Alright, here we go. Yep, and Francine is too old to understand the importance of social media. Naomi is way too busy with all her beloved games, so it fell into my hands. Which, as Iris stated, I haven't been doing a great job at. Well, we should take advantage of it for this. We can use the FaceWall account to spread the word of Funplex, Funplex Funk Time. I've ruined myself on this name. Wait, is it Ashley? Alright, back to the game. You're completely right. I should work harder at it. Or if you want, you could take it over as the event manager. That makes sense. Oh, uh, is that too much? Is it too much for me to do? Nah, I'll do it. I really should take on this responsibility. It can only benefit the funplex, and Ashley's right. Getting the word out is part of being an event manager. Right, I got this. Ashley, can you email me the login info? Yep, and yep. Ashley pulls out her phone and fiddles with it for a minute. Login, get. Congratulations, you are the new owner of our social media accounts. Huzzah, the power is all mine. Mine. Ashley, are you sure you want to give Ari this much power? <laughs> if the fact that she threw her head back and cackled isn't sign enough, I don't know what else is. I'm not worried one bit. Excellent. Ari, I can help the Funplex keep up with the face wall too. I can program time posts and use effective keywords to get the most out of each post. Seo is one of my many, many talents. That'd be helpful, actually. Just, you know, don't break any laws. Understood. Do I have permission to access your contacts on your face wall? No, why my contacts? That's <laughs> against the world, nice. Sure. And there. I've sent out notifications to everyone on your friends list and your friends' friends list about Funplex Funk Time. That was fast. No joke. One more thing. Your site should have about 75% more images. Did you know that 90% of people prefer looking at pictures online rather than reading? Sometimes just don't I just don't understand you sentient beings. Your iris does make a good point. We should totally come up with a poster for our event. We can hand them out at Max too! I can't oh her voice is so high pitched. And of course, put them up around the arcade. Hmm, okay, the arcade isn't too hectic today. Ashley, if you can wash the floor, I can go design us a sweet flyer to pass out to the con goers. It is time to deploy my mad artist skills. Ooh, sounds like a plan! Let's make this the best Max ever, one we will never forget. Hopefully in a good way. <laughs> Pictures online are naughtier or cats? I mean, you have the spectrum. The spectrum of everything everybody loves. I spent the rest of the afternoon working hard on having the perfect design for our poster. Well, a design for our poster at any rate. Do I get to design the poster? Which brings me back to the stack of papers currently in my arms, which it do not, in fact, resemble the poster I designed. Oh, crap. Oh, I took the liberty of tuning your poster just a little, and changing the font selection, and picking out new clip art, and rearranging everything, and using a prop poppier color scheme. Uh, well, it looks good, but, but I liked my original design. Ari, you used, oh no! Ari, you used Comic Sans and Papyrus. <gasps> I don't blame Juniper at all. I don't blame her. I, like, no lie, I secretly love Papyrus. I think it's a fantastic font. Like, it looks really cool, but yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not one that you use on advertising material. <laughs> oh, man. Comic Sans is cool, right? It looks like a comic book. Gamer nerds love comic books, don't they? And Papyrus was in that movie with the blue cat people, aliens everybody loved. Oh my gosh, is that the... Is that an Undertale reference? <laughs> oh my gosh. Take it from a wannabe visual designer. Comic Sans is a one-way ticket to the uncool zone. But these new flyers are going to pull people in from the four corners of the globe. She wants to be a visual designer, nice. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess these are kind of not bad. Pretty good, actually. Okay, they're superior by every conceivable metric. Yay! We are all, we all love Papyrus and Sans. <laughs> Undertale! I didn't know you were an artist, Juniper. Um, 
I mean... I'm not really. I mean, I guess I'm good at pretending to be one, but I couldn't, like, make art for a living, right? I couldn't, um... <gasps> oh, I want a shaker! I have so many friends, and I see so many people on Twitter who are, like, they just followed their dreams to, like, make art for a living, and, like, it's hard, but it's doable, and I'm like, follow your dreams, Juniper! Follow your dreams! <laughs> Anyway, if that stack isn't enough, I also emailed you a copy of the original file. Just take it to the copy shop or something. Copy shop or something. They can turn off more. Run off more. Publishing document? Get. So, back to the point at hand. Getting the information to the masses. Maybe if we just start yelling, Hey, you guys! Several people turn and look at us confusedly. Juniper! What? what? Yelling is probably not the best way to get our word out. And I'm actually still waiting for Ashley and Teo to show up. They promised that they would help me, so I think I'll just hang out until they arrive. As you like. It seems my work here is done. Juniper pulls out her phone and checks it. You funplex folks, fling some flyers. As for me, there's a really cool panel I want to attend. How to get your foot in the door of the arcade art industry. Ooh, <gasps> do it! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How to get your foot in the Okay. I mean, not that I'm seriously thinking about it. Just, you know, it's interesting and stuff. Oh, it's starting in 10 minutes. I'll catch up with you at home. Good luck, Gary. Jennifer waves as she trots off. I lose sight of her instantly as she ducks into the crowd. Growing up, I always knew that arcades were amazingly popular, but the reality of it just really didn't stick until being here at Max. Thousands of people all coming together for their love of games. It's actually pretty darn inspiring. I muster enough courage to wade my way through the several hundred people in the main convention hall. Eventually, I find a safe space, a humble bench near the water fountains. I'm not usually good in, like, like social, like, big social things like this either, but, like, I don't know. I like going to things, like, like, I'd love to go to, like, uh, like an eSports watch party, you know? Because it really is kind of inspiring to see so many people in one spot that are, like, dedicated to a thing that you like, too, you know? I make this my home base while I wait for my friends. Since both Teo and Ashley are running late, I have some time to fully take in my surroundings in a calmer fashion, of course. Everywhere I look, everything I see, it's all steeped in arcade culture. Booths are set up for all the major arcade companies, each table vying for the attention of the crowd. Some have spaces set up with stages, flashing lights, and people throwing t-shirts into lines of people. Can we talk about these lines for a second, though? There are lines for everything. Lines to play games, lines to go see a panel, lines to go eat disgusting convention food, lines for the bathroom. There are even lines to get into other people's lines. And they all just wait there, standing, happily chittering amongst themselves. I have trouble waiting in line for 10 minutes at the, at the whole story for a coffee, let alone waiting in line for three hours just to play a game that'll be released in four months. I don't think I could do that either. These people aren't even human anymore. Their perseverance is godlike. Ah! The sensory output here is overwhelming. People are shouting and laughing as they, crowd, as they crowd areas. Music pumps out of several different booths, making it a weird mashup of notes and chip tunes. There's even a giant dinosaur that people can take selfies with. As I contemplate how I'm going to attract all these people to Funplex Funk Time, I hear sounds of a very loud, of very loud and very upbeat music from behind me. So I'm gonna leave you guys on a cliffhanger there. I hope you enjoyed what you watched. Uh, this was a pretty chatty one, so I had to edit out quite a bit. Um, hopefully it all went together pretty well though, and we should be finishing up uh, the, well maybe not the, the max event in the next part, but we will be progressing further in that. So once again, if you're watching this, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I, I, I really do. I know even the people, not a lot of one people watch this one, but those of you that do, I really do appreciate you a lot. Very, very, very much. And I'm, it's late and I'm tired, but I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye.